Okay, welcome back. Now we come to a demo called the Thermal Conductivity Bars Demo. It ha it's going to illustrate in there four different metals, steel, brass, aluminum, copper. The thermal conductivity of steel is 43 watts per meter Kelvin. The brass is 109 watts per meter Kelvin. Aluminum is 205 watts per meter Kelvin and copper 401 watts per meter Kelvin. So what this is saying is that copper is the most thermally conductive. More heat should flow through it per second, uh, depending on what the length and the temperature difference of the, the metal is, right? So this should be 400. So this is about twice as more conducting. So this one, more, twice as more heat should uh, flow through it. Uh, versus the aluminum. The aluminum is about twice as more conducting than brass and then brass is about twice as more conducting than the steel. So the, they've kind of chosen these metals on purpose in that way. So this is twice as more conducting than that. This is twice as more conducting than that and this is twice as more conducting than that. So the 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 apparatus looks like this, right? And then in, in a, a beaker of hot water and when I put it in the beaker of hot water, the heat is going to start flowing up, right? So what should happen? The heat through the copper should flow twice as fast. So you should almost see this heat flowing. I'm just going to make it with a red marker. You should see this heat flowing up the copper. And then when it flows up, the color of it is going to change. So it's going to go like this, right? Then it should flow twice as fast through the copper. And then the color of the brass should change. Um, oh, this one here is the aluminum, right? So the aluminum should change half as fast as that, right? So the copper is going to be the fastest. The aluminum is going to be like this. When the copper is done, all the heat has transferred. The aluminum will be about halfway, and then the brass will be half of that, somewhere like this, and then the steel will be about half of that. Right? So by the time the heat has transferred all the way in the copper, this one will be about half, because this is 200, 400. This will be about a quarter of the copper, and then the steel will be about uh, one eighth of the copper, right? So you can kind of see the color changing and then compare the rates. So let's get the video closer to the apparatus. Okay, you can kind of see the colors changing for the copper. The aluminum is catching up, then the brass, then the steel is the last. See that? The colors are changing. The heat is flowing up to the top from the hot water underneath all the way to the top. The aluminum is almost, the copper is almost all done now. Okay, it looks like the copper is, has all turned green. It, it went from different colors, black, blue, and green, and it followed all the way up. The aluminum is catching up. Now the aluminum is turned all green. All right, then you've got the copper, I um, mean, then you've got the brass. The brass is still has uh, to catch up. Okay, it's almost at the top there. Okay, you can see her, you see? This one has turned way earlier. Now this one is catching up now. So you can see as the heat is flowing up, the colors are changing. They put uh, certain materials there where when the heat flows through it, the color changes. And then you can see the, the heat flow actually. And then you can see now the final steel is turning red, it was the slowest one. And finally, the heat has flown up completely. Now they're all done. So if you put your hand there, you can see, oh yeah, you see it's hot. All of them are hot now because the heat has already flown all the way to the top. My finger up to the top, there it is, yeah. I can feel the heat just about the same on all of them. But you see the steel took more time and then the copper was the fastest, okay? So a good illustration of the, the concept of thermal conductivity and then it proved that copper is the highest conductivity and steel is the least, okay? Thank you very much.